Welcome to episode 34 of G Hilarious Beer Reviews. Today, as you can see, I will be reviewing Zipfer Original. Uh, it's brewed in Austria, um, so it's not one brewed under license here in Australia, so it's a full import. Uh, just reading here, it's actually imported, yeah, by an independent uh, importer, so it comes in at um, 330 milliliters at 5.4% alcohol by volume. Um, online, this has got some reasonable reviews, so I'm sure it'll be good. Um, so yeah, that's all I know about the beer, but we'll crack under the next bit and get it open. It's got some foil on there. Actually, it looks like a um, twist top. Let's remove this foil. Get it, it looks like a twist top. Here it is, as you can see. A lot of smoke there. Just got an iced schooner glass. Get it working there a bit at first. I sort of that settled down there for a bit. Um, as for the head, it's a sort of a darker white color, um, soapy head. A few, yeah. What two and a half, three fingers ahead, so a bit ahead there. It's very carbonated. As for the color, it's a straw color, a darker straw color. Yeah, so it look, looks very nice, looks very refreshing. I'll just get the rest of this in here. Okay, now for the smell. I'm getting the malts coming through with the hop, hop smell at the end. But it's not as pronounced as I thought it would be, um, being this type of, what, is, well, what people have said about this beer, it's not, not as strong, but yeah, I could smell a sweet, malty taste. Oh, sorry, smell, <laughs> I haven't tasted it yet. It smells great though, it smells good. All right, taste test, cheers. Very bitter. <clears throat> it's uh, more bitter than I thought it would be. Yeah, but not not badly. It's um, but it is quite bitter. Um, as with these type of beers, it, the the maltiness hits you first with the sweetness, and then the bitterness lingers in the palate afterwards. Um, yeah, it's it's actually quite nice. I'll give it another sip. Yeah, very bitter. That's one characteristic of this beer that I'd have to say, it is quite bitter. Um, but it is nice. Like that bitterness is still lingering there. Another sip and I'll give it a score. Sort of a medium mouthfeel. Not exactly dry or wet. Uh, in the middle there, I'd say. Um, the higher alcohol content, I think, that, yeah, you do notice that. I am picking that up. Um, but it's not overbearing at all. Not at all. It's actually not a bad Pilsener. It's quite nice. Mm, I like it. A good hop, hop um, bitterness to it. Yeah. Very good Pilsener. What would I give Zip for original? I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's quite a good beer. It is is nice, and for the price too, it was reasonably priced. It was, um, yeah. You normally imports for a six pack. You're looking at anything from seventeen dollars to twenty so dollars. This was fifteen. So if you even saw it on special, it might be cheaper. So I'll, if you like your pilsen beers, give it a go. I think it's very nice. So zip for original, eight out of ten for me. Thanks for watching another episode of G Hallers Beer Reviews. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.